This is the Emerson family, and they are from Massachusetts. The family consists of mom and dad, Laura and Caleb, and they met at law school. Um, Caleb's a little bit older, but they graduated in the same year. And they were together for a while before they had kids working together in on the East Coast. And first they had daughter Eleanor. And then they had twins right after, Dominic and Noah. And quickly, Laura became decided that it was time to switch her work from home and do legal work for her husband from home, whereas Caleb decided to still work in the city. Um, soon after, they had Addison and Jacelyn. Um, they have moved around a lot, but Caleb just signed a job and has become a partner in Boston, Massachusetts at a firm there. Here's the family goals, which are kind of the pediment for their life on which they they base most things that they do off of. So they want to have a happy and healthy family, a well-prepared family, and a strong marriage that provides for the family. And so when it comes to purchasing a home, these are some of the reasons. Overall, the this will be highlighted in later slides, but so you have a general financial view. Family makes about $18,000 a month, collectively. They have a large savings and they want to put $20,000 on a home. They've decided to buy right now and they have waited two years in order to save enough money for a six month emergency fund and a down payment of $128,000. Um, generally, right now, they don't really know how much it's going to cost, so they're starting to look and they're going to look around about $600 to $640,000 is what they think they can afford with a mortgage about $3,000. Um, they have debts of about $30,000, which will be explained later. Here's They had a lot of decisions when it came to renting versus buying. They have had a lot of reasons to buy, and they realized that not as many reasons to rent. The only reason they would think of renting was that the flexibility in the job, but they just secured a large job, and they have enough money to put down, and they think they can save some decent amount on taxes by purchasing a home. Um, the largest reason for this decision to purchase a home is they want stability. They have one kid who's about to start school and a bunch in school, and they want to find this stable lifestyle for their five kids so they can graduate in Massachusetts. The location is Boston, Massachusetts, and this is a big deal because they need a home that is within one hour of this city. So, like I said, it needs to be within one hour. Some of the other important factors are listed below, but one that's very important is it needs to be close to a church building. This is something that goes along with their family goals, um, and they want to provide a safe atmosphere for their family in order to be able to attend their meetings here. Um, they also want a place to entertain work clients and space for guests, and they want to also be able to add their own ideas to the house, so maybe something that's not completely finished would be a great choice for the family. Here is the outline savings plans as mentioned before. So for the last two years, they have saved to have the down payment as well as the emergency fund. The emergency fund is about $48,000, which will be explained in a second. And the down payment is 128, which you can see the plan below. Um, so this is why we have a $48,000 for the emergency fund. So essentially it is a six months reserve line. If the family lost the job and they they would then have six months to be able to live on fixed costs. So they would be on a tight budget, but they would be able to survive for about six months. Um, here's a long response about why they have an emergency fund, but when it comes to purchasing a house, they're worried that if they possibly buy an older house that they could need money for repairs, or if a car breaks down, they could need the money for that. And with five kids who are all growing, health costs are definitely a concern for the family. So having a large emergency fund is a priority. Here, like I mentioned before, is the financial overview. So in savings now, they have $128,000 down payment and the emergency fund, and they still have the $30,000 in student loan debts, but that is their only debt. Here is the overview of their finances for each month. Um, this consists of transportation, insurance, uh, tithing, which is considered a long-term debt. Um, their total income is listed on here, and their expenditures, which you can look at this to see the specifics. This right here is their dream home. 
that they have recently found within about 45 minutes of Boston proper. And it is definitely a dream. It is large enough for a large family of seven, has a really big yard for recreational activities, will be a great commute, less than an hour, and it is completely redone, meaning it will not need any more work, it will not need a lot of money invested in, in the next couple of years, and it has a large family basement, which will be great for hosting social events. It is also near the beach. Here is the kind of selling point for mom and dad, which was a large master bathroom. Originally, they kind of just plugged it in their financial calculators, determined that it cost about $4,000 a month to be able to purchase this home in Marshfield. And that was definitely above budget, but they're willing to, to look around and see what they can do. Next, we have our modest home, which is, as you can see, not as redone as the new one, but it does have its own benefits. So it is large enough for a large family of seven as well, close to the highway good for hosting social events, and everyone has their own bedroom in this one. And the selling factor is that it is close to the beach. Actually, it's not just close, it is on the beach. Um, so they plugged this one into their calculator and determined that it'd be about close to $3,000 for their payments. So they were gonna look into it some more. So now here is their fully updated costs for each home. Some of the important factors that they've had to look at is property taxes for sure, homeowners insurance, and the homeowners association fees. Um, these are a lot of factors that can really add up to on top of your principal and interest, um, sometimes making a home not affordable. So on the left we have a dream home and on the right we have a realistic home. So now that it's time to take into account if they're able to get a loan for the home. So they started by adding up all their long-term debts, which would be $600 in student loans and $1,800 a month in tithing. So using the PITI formula in the max amount that they could qualify for, they've determined is, <coughs> oh, excuse me, would be a little bit under $700,000. So they've determined that they need to really get their uh, search down to this. Um, so they, to calculate this, they all use this formula. And the ratio is 41% their debt to income ratio for the dream house, which is a lot. You really should try and keep it under 36%. The other one is actually quite affordable. It is about 31% for the modest home. Um... So that's how they made the decision, is the modest home is a better offer because once they get rid of their student loan debt, their debt to income ratio will be a little bit below 30%, which would be really great for the family to have low debt and to continue to save money while also having a home payment and making money on that. And we'll discuss that later on. So now came the time to make the decision about whether or not to have a 30-year fixed fund or f fixed mortgage or a 15-year fixed mortgage. This is definitely an important decision because, as you'll see in the next slide, it can save a lot of money. Family has made the decision to pick a 15-year fixed mortgage because it is going to save a lot of money. So here is the difference in interest paid. It is close to $200,000 over the 15 years that they would not be paying for, um, for this home. So they've decided to crack down on their finances and choose a 15-year mortgage. Um, another important factor when deciding to purchase home was their tax liability. As you can see here, it looks like it decreased. There will be more information right here. And as you can see, their tax liability decreased. So the tax rate went down by 2% and they saved close to about $5,000 um, every year by buying this home. Another important thing to consider is other costs in the family's life. And one of the big ones is transportation in every family's life. Um, so they paid for all of three of these cars. On the right is a Honda CRV. On the left, a 2007 Chevy. And in the middle is a 2015 Jeep Wrangler. They were all paid in cash or a gift. And they own, owe zero debt on them. Here is very il illustrated costs to own a car over five year period. Um, in the next slide, we will highlight where each of these come out of, but just so you can get a general idea that they're, for over the course of five years, it's more than $100,000 that's being spent on cars, and it's a very important investment in the family's life. So the Jeep is rarely used, and it was an inheritance gift. 
Um, but it is used occasionally, but does not cost the family a lot of money. They mainly use the Honda and the Suburban, and they use trains to commute to the city, and it's a work benefit. So the amount they spend on gas is only about $300 a month. Um, and then different categories cover different budgets. For example, insurance is under insurance, and any repairs come out of the savings cost. Here's an updated kind of financial overview with the students' loans and the emergency fund now after purchasing a home. So one thought that came to the family's head was, well, you know, what if we invested instead of buying a home? So they calculated with a, about a 4% rate of return over 30 years, and they saw that they would make about um, $2 million if they contributed annually what they would contribute for a mortgage. So home appreciation over time would be close to almost $3 million. It would be almost a million dollars more if they were to buy a home instead. So this is a really important decision to calculate these costs and look at it for your family. And so they decided the best option tax-wise, the best option when it came investment-wise, was to purchase this home. Um, so currently right now they are going to live in a short-term lease for six months and then purchase the home as planned. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed and have a great day. Thank you so much.